happening in today's helping hands with the holidays right around the corner. New Mexicans statewide will soon be hitting the stores to stock up on groceries for their family feasts. However, there are thousands of our neighbors that suffer from food insecurity year-round, and they can't afford the same celebratory dinner. That's why Albertsons, along with KRQE, Fox New Mexico, the Storehouse, and Dock Horse Wines are asking for your help the next time you do your shopping. Joining us now is Nancy Keene, the Vice President of Public Affairs for Albertsons, along with Jeffrey Cook from Dark Horse Wines and Nancy Pope, Vice President of Development for Adelante. Guys, thanks for being with us this morning. So, Nancy, let's start with you since uh, the, we, the, point of the, the point of the interaction is going to happen at an Albertsons store. What is this promotion all about? It's about helping families who desperately need help this time of year and throughout the course of the year. Um, our number one pillar of support at Albertsons is the elimination of hunger. And unfortunately, there's far too many families and kiddos that are going to bed hungry every single night. So we are determined to put an end to that. So we have a food bags when customers come into the store, look for the KRQE signage. And we have food bags that um, customers can pick up and purchase or we're making it real simple. You can donate a can of food or make a monetary donation at the register, and it all goes to benefit the great work that Nancy Pope and the fine folks at Storehouse are doing to helping families in need. That's great. You guys are making it super easy. I was saying during the break, saw the sign uh, the other day when I was actually doing my grocery shopping. So let's talk a little. For those that may not be familiar with the Storehouse, we're very familiar with it here at Fox New Mexico. Tell us about this organization. Well, we're the state's largest food pantry. We're located at Broadway and Central, and we fed 55,000 people last year, wow. of which about 14,000 of those are children. Wow. It's a really um, great model that we do there, and we have been there for 40 years. So what we do is allow families to come through and shop for their groceries, uh, whether it's um, produce or meat or dairy or shelf-stable food. Mm -hmm. And every month they walk away with about 30 meals per family member. Really? Yeah. Wow. And uh, what I think is great, the way that you operate it, is that it really feels like, like a regular grocery store. You walk right. in and they get that, that opportunity to do their shopping in you know, a safe environment and that they can really take care of their families in that, that way. And that's great that Albertsons is you know, facilitating this, another company facilitating it. Of course, Dark Horse Wines. Jeff, let me ask you, what brought Dark Horse Wines in on this? Well, um, to Nancy and Nancy's point, I mean, this is a, a tremendous time of year for families. And for all of us who celebrate with family and food, not everyone is as fortunate. So we just wanted to do our part and give back to the community. And we're very happy to team up with Albertsons and Storehouse to, to help families here in New Mexico and especially in the Albuquerque area. So we just want to do our part and, and give back to the community. And we certainly do appreciate you doing that. So it's, it's weird as I say Nancy. I'm like, which Nancy? My daughter? Like, Nancy nearest me. How about we do that? Uh, Nancy, uh, is this happening at all Albertsons? Is this, is this happening within the city, statewide? Is it any Albertsons? Yes, it's any Albertsons, and it is statewide. And so while all the donations in Albuquerque will stay in Albuquerque, donations made in Taos or Santa Fe are going to stay at food banks and food pantries up in That's those fantastic. areas as well. So it won't be brought out of the, their communities down here. It will remain local. All the food and all the money that we collect as well. Another nice thing is that donations at the register will go to provide storehouse with turkey dinners. So the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, we're going to be distributing to storehouse prepared turkey dinners mm -hmm. with all the fixings. And so those turkey dinners, they still need to be heated up like mm -hmm. anything else, but it'll have the potatoes and the stuffing, everything to give families in need a really wonderful Thanksgiving. And that's mm -hmm. part of our Turkey Bucks program, so you can donate for, to that as well. Um, so we're here to help families in need, and again, we, we want to eliminate hunger. There is no reason why today in this country any child or any family should go to bed hungry. Absolutely. Now that turkey, uh, the turkey dinner program, you guys have been doing that for some time because I remember in years past that we've actually been out live as you are distributing to these families. Uh, Nancy, being on the front line, Nancy furthest from me. <laughs> um, what is it like for you when, when these families come in that have been so, how am I going to provide a Thanksgiving dinner for my family? They come and they get that. What is that experience? like for you? Well, it's an amazing experience, actually, and we have 650 volunteers a year that help those families with that experience. But it, these are working poor, for the most yeah. part, 
um, only about 10% of our clients are homeless. Mm -hmm. And these families are in a situation that they have hit a rough spot in their life, whether they've lost a job or they have a major health issue. We know from experience that um, these families only visit us three times a year. Wow. So it really is helping somebody through a rough patch. And to have a Thanksgiving dinner at this time of year is really critical for them to be with their family and celebrating. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So just very quickly before we lose time, uh, this, this program is going on now through the end of the year or now through Christmas? How now, long is it going? Now through, through the end of the year. Okay. And inside the hunger bags, it's really important to mention that we have all those shelf-stable items mm -hmm. that are critically important to the storehouse. So you have your Skippy peanut butter. So when little kiddos get back from school and mom and dad are out working, they can prepare peanut butter and crackers or other. We have SpaghettiOs inside the bag. We have a soup inside the bag and beans and tuna fish as well. So it's the proteins and it's the nutrients that the young ones need as well. So they were specifically identified to um, go inside the hunger bag. That is so fantastic. Guys, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for doing this again, guys. Participate in this food drive. Just head to any Albertson statewide. And for more information on it, of course, head to foxnewmexico.com. Before we go to break, let's take a look and see what is ahead this evening for you on Fox.